Hi, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place and today I'm going to be showing you the Sargent Power Control Panel. Now, if you've got a Swift, a Sprite, a Sterling, um, the chances are anything from about 2009-10 onwards, you're going to have this control panel. They're not all going to look exactly the same, but I'm going to show you all the basics, what they are, what it means and what they do. So if you're liking our video, don't forget to subscribe to us and please hit that like button as well. Every like and comment is going to add us onto the listings of YouTube and make more people watch it. So please do give us a like and a comment if you can. So on to the Sergeant supply unit that is going to be fitted into hopefully your Swift Sterling or Sprite caravan. Now, as I say, they're not all going to look exactly the same. This is a caravan with Swift commands. So basically you can get the app and connect your phone via an app to the Sergeant control unit, which we'll try and do another video on that um, in the future, possibly. But today I'm just going to talk to you about the basics and what we've actually got and what we mean. Uh, and what our buttons mean on this control panel. So our very, very first one is our system shutdown button. So that is our main controller for our 12 volt panel. So basically by turning this into the off position, so popped up, uh, that is gonna turn all of our 12 volt power off to the caravan. So we're not gonna get any solar panel charging. We're not gonna get any power going through to our battery and nothing in the caravan on the 12 volt side is going to work so realistically we need that turning on and when you turn it on you'll hear that little beep and that will just put all of the 12 volt power through to the caravan now another thing that it will do is if that's in the off position your swift command system isn't going to work so realistically you want to keep that turned into the on position all of the time especially if you've got a solar panel um, fitted to the caravan it's going to keep the battery charged so there's no real reason to turn that off if it is an older system and you've not got a solar panel you've not got a swift command system you might possibly be tempted to turn that off through the winter as it will isolate all of the 12 volt system and stop you having a flat battery over the winter so uh, just depends which panel that you've actually got fitted as to how you're going to want to run the system uh, next along we've got our reverse polarity now every one of these swift command systems is going to have a reverse polarity what this basically means is that when the power comes into the caravan we've got a live and neutral from our 230 side if the live and neutral was reversed so live was in place of neutral and neutral was in place of live our little reverse polarity light is going to come on and indicate and just tell us that we've got the live and negative wrong uh, it's it's wired incorrectly either on a site the cables incorrect or sometimes when you go into Europe uh, some of the sites can be wired incorrectly now the reason that that's quite important is basically the 230 volt comes through it comes through all of our little breakers and then it goes through to our different appliances so it'll go through to our fridge our heating system, our microwave, our 230 sockets. If we've got a reverse polarity, it actually goes through to our item, so the power then goes through to our fridge and then comes back and goes through our braking system. So if that is the case, it basically means that any of our 230 volt sockets, any of our appliances, we've actually now got no protection. Um, so if there was a fault on there, it's not going to trip out our trip switches and tell us that we've got an issue and potentially save our life. Um, it's going to just keep causing an issue. So if you do get this reverse polarity light on, don't think, oh, no, it's just a little light and it's just going to add a little bit more effect to our panel. It is quite serious and you need to just find out exactly why that is. Um, none of your appliances that you use are going to be protect protected um, so it is quite a serious issue. So if that light does come on, um, just get an electrician to have a look and find out exactly why that is. 
Next along, we've got our charger. So this is our charger button. So this is going to be, when we've got 230 volt connected on, it's going to charge our battery up and it's actually going to convert our 230 down to 12 volt and run all of our 12 volt system for us. And as I say, charge the battery as well. We've then got our heating and hot water. Now, sometimes we've got two separate buttons. So we've got a heating button and we've got a hot water button. And these are going to put the power through to our heating and hot water system. So if it's a heating and hot water system, the chances are you've got a Truma or a Aldi central heating system. And it's literally that is going to put the power through to our heating system and it's not going to allow our heating system to work on 230 until this is on. If you've got a separate heating and hot water button, the chances are that the hot water is direct. So to put our hot water on, we press the hot water button on and that will then put our hot water on for us. Um, sometimes they do put a heating and hot water button on um, and that is then putting the power through just to our heating system if it's a combined heating and hot water system. On a lot of the new caravans it is just a heating and hot water system um, so that is just going to put the power through to that heating or hot water system. We've then also got our fuses um, so we'll have a bank of fuses. Now usually on a cupboard door that comes down by this panel it's going to have a little description on there and that's going to tell us what all of our little fuses are for and then it will also tell us what our different trip switches are for so as i mentioned before our little breakers so if we get a fault on any 230 volt electric items these are going to trip out uh, and stop the power going through and potentially save any electrocution now you'll also notice that we've got a little test button on here our little yellow button so that is going to basically just make sure that our main breaker is actually working the other thing that we'll do is if we go to a site and we're not sure that the 230 volt power is actually working we can come in and just press our little test button if we've got 230 volt power coming into the caravan when we press that it will trip out if we haven't got power coming into the caravan, when we press that, nothing is going to happen. So that is actually going to tell us and let us know that the 230 volt coming into the caravan is working and we have got power coming into the caravan itself. Hopefully that has given you a quick description and guide onto that sergeant power unit um, and just explain what the different buttons on there and how it works and give you a little bit of hints and advice again if you have liked the video please do give us a like and again let us know in the comments if there's anything that we've missed or you'd like to go back over thanks i'm mark at the caravan place hiya and welcome to the caravan place i'm mark and today i'm going to show you the swift sh swift charge swift sh it's not a swift